Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time it's the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus, or Leptonectes. When this figure was first released with a blue color scheme, they referred to it as a Leptoturgius, but now that name is no longer valid, and they changed it to Leptonectes. But uh, when this figure was you know, re-released with this uh, new green color scheme, they referred to it as an Ichthyosaurus. As you can see the label on here. For this review, I'll just be calling it Ichthyosaurus because, you know, it says Ichthyosaurus on the bottom labels. Here is the tag. As you can see, they still refer to it as a Leptoturgius. So here you have the inside of the tag, the facts in different languages. Pause if you want to read it. On to the figure itself. And I have to say, I really like this figure. Like, I know uh, for some people, it probably won't be the best Ichthyosaurus figure because, you know, there are several more accurate figures. But uh, there's something about this one that I really like. I don't know if it's like, you know, the overall sculpt or just the color scheme. But yeah, let's get into the detailing as always. As you can see, that head sculpt, a uh, pretty fierce looking head right here, reptilian dolphin. So yeah, see, uh, across the figure is mostly just smooth skin, because, you know, ichthyosaurs are known to have smooth skin like most modern day marine mammals. And see, the most detailing is, you know, around the head. You, see, you got the eye ridges right there, and then the nostrils, and then the teeth, and then you see a little bit inside the mouth right here. See, uh, pretty nice detailing on the head. And yeah, that's about it for detailing. Now let's talk about the color scheme. Now, the color scheme is probably the most inaccurate thing about this figure because uh, we all know that Ichthyosaurus and most other prehistoric marine reptiles are known to possess counter shading, which is, you know, the bottom of the animal is like light gray or white and the top of the animal is, you know, black, dark blues, or dark gray to help them blend in with the ocean depths. Uh, like this one right here is mostly green. See, the bottom, the bottom of the animal is, you know, mostly a sandy color. And then the lighter shade of green is like a minty green. And then the stripes is basically, you know, a bluish green. Like, even though it's inaccurate, I really like it. Um, it's probably uh, one of the best paint jobs I've seen on a prehistoric marine reptile figure. To me, at least. Because, you know, some other people may not like it. Another thing that I want to mention about the paint is that it comes off pretty easily. I think it's mainly because of the material it's made of. This is an issue that other companies like Mojo and Schleich suffer from. Now onto the aesthetics of this figure, and I think this is a very aesthetically pleasing figure. Not only because of the nicely detailed head and the good proportions, but also because of the natural pose and the color scheme. I say the pose from some angles like this looks very natural. You could put this, you know, uh, in the water and take some good photos of it. And also with this uh, color scheme, this looks like, you know, a shallow water ichthyosaur that lives near a coral reef, or, or even an ichthyosaur that lives in the swamps. Now let's start with the comparisons. Here we have the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus next to the recent Safari 2020 Ichthyosaurus. And as you can see, side by side, the Bullyland figure is slightly larger. And um, even though the Safari figure is more scientifically accurate, I there uh, there's something about the Bullyland one that makes me like it more. I th like I said, maybe it's you know the head skull and the color scheme. But this uh, this Safari Ichthyosaurus right here is a very close second. Now let's compare the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus next to the uh, Safari Carnegie Ichthyosaurus, the Collecte Temnodontosaurus, and the Chapme Ophthalmosaurus. And as you can see, the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus is larger than all three of them. And of course, here's the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus next to the Collecte Mini Zephactinus. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my review on the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus. And yes, I highly recommend you guys picking up this figure. It's a really um, neat representation of Ichthyosaurus. And to me, it's my favorite Ichthyosaurus figure. Like I said, because of uh, the nicely detailed head right here, the good proportions, and this uh, phenomenal paint job right here. If you want him, uh, you can pick him up on eBay or D. Jenkins. I got mines on eBay. And um, according to uh, some members on the Dinosaur Toy Blog, uh, uh, Bullyland is bringing this figure back this year. So, which is good they decided to bring this one back. I think this is actually um, the best Bullyland figure. I think, yeah, this is, like, I, have, I haven't mentioned this before, but this is uh, my first uh, Bullyland prehistoric animal figure in my collection. So, if I had to give this guy a rating, I'd probably give him a 10 out of 10. So, yeah, if you guys like this review, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.